Hello, all of you awesome healers. Today's topic is all about helping you clear those stubborn money blocks or that poverty thinking. And I know that some of you have tried and tried and tried over and over again and have not succeeded very well. So today I'm going to give you some tips as to why that could be and how to clear that up. Stay tuned to hear more. This is Anastasia. I used to be a physics professor specializing in vibrational and quantum physics. After recovering from a serious illness using energy healing on myself, the calling to heal became so strong that I had to quit my 40 year research career. I replaced my six figure professor salary within five months using a simple but not easy three step system that I worked out to grow my healing practice. Now I help other healers grow their practices, whether they're just starting or already have a practice with this same three step system. I'm all about helping you to listen in to learn more. I'm so glad you're back again today because today I'm going to talk about those stubborn money blocks or wealth blocks that you may have experienced in your life. And you've done all of the tips and all of the amazing things that people have told you how to be more money conscious, how to uh, manage your wealth, and still things are eluding you. And so here are a few of the reasons you've already, we've already talked about how your DNA could be part of the problem, but it could be also your spiritual DNA. And what is that? So you may or may not realize that your infinite soul has traversed many incarnations and you are a being of light and energy. And you have come into this a physical being to have this experience, but those previous experiences are influencing your experience today. So a lot of us that are healers or scientists or teachers or coaches have been helping people through the ages. And one of the things that happens to people that are helpers is that we do it because of the love of it rather than the earning of it, right? And wealth, as important as it can be now, wealth and money, as important as it can be now to help your survival into ease and grace hasn't always been a priority because in the old days you could travel from village to village to village and they would feed you and give you clothing and, you know, give you gifts for the services that you rendered them. And that's not how it works anymore. If you were to walk up to someone's door, if I heal you of this, <laughs> can you give me a few meals and let me stay at your house? And what would happen is they'd go, get out of here. That doesn't work anymore, right? So um, the spiritual DNA that I'm talking about is the what people will call past life, your past life DNA. So your past life is actually running concurrently with, with your current life and all your future lives in the quantum field. So it's all there. And to heal yourself from that, you basically need to clean it up off of your timeline. So your spiritual self is on this learning path while incarnated for things that cannot be experienced as a spirit, right? A spirit can't experience poverty. It can't experience wealth. It can't even experience the five senses. The five senses for a lot of us are really amazing. Like I'm in this beautiful environment right now up in upper state New York with a bunch of other entrepreneurs and we are having a very private little mastermind. And you step out on the balcony overlooking one of the Finger Lakes in upper state New York and the temperature is just perfect and the way it feels on your skin, you feel like you're being wrapped up in a nice warm envelope and your spiritual self does not experience that feeling of touch, which is the reason, one of the reasons why we come into, uh, into incarnation or we condense ourselves into this form. 
But some of those experiences are making it very hard for you, like you're learning things, making it very hard for you to enjoy. So when your when your your current self has not experienced satisfaction in those previous lives, like overcoming something, it will recreate it again in this life. And a lot of us that have, uh, you know, I've been doctors, I've been scientists, I've been healers, I've been in previous lives, I've been artists, tribal chieftains, you know, males and females, all those things. And uh, if you haven't overcome that, that poverty, that feeling that, you know, it's okay to be poor kind of thing, which is not good now. But if you haven't overcome that, then you may have brought it with you. And one of the ways to do that is to clear it off your timeline. And it's a, actually a very, sorry, there's a powerboat outside on the lake. <laughs> so it is a really difficult to clear it until you put your timeline out in front of you and you drop the poverty off the timeline. And it's a very simple energetic um energetic process. So what you can do, if you don't know how to do it yet, what you can do is actually uh, straighten your spine, pull your shoulders back and take a nice deep breath and then expand yourself out, meaning your, your energy field out and up. Like I've described before, you have control over that energy field and the bigger you grow it, the more it can contain, right? And what you want is your, your, ability to hold more wealth, right? Imagine that you're holding, you know, money on your hand here. So imagine you're holding a million dollars on your hand. Does it feel heavy or does it feel light, right? And if it feels heavy, like you can't hold it, the, you won't, will not have the ability to attract that amount of money, right? So this is something that if you close your eyes and now imagine your previous lifetimes in that poverty mindset, imagine that you are becoming wealthier during those lifetimes and leaving off that poverty mindset. So the poverty mindset for healers is the service I do isn't worthy of being compensated monetarily. This, the things that I do are not worth it. I am not good enough to be paid. I, uh, I'm not good enough to ask for the right amount of compensation. All of that thinking may have come from one of those previous lifetimes and you can also carry it into the future. So now let's just imagine that all of those lifetimes that you had going back about 10 or 12 and into the future, 10 or 12, that's usually enough. And every place there has been a poverty, a poverty consciousness or poverty mindset. Imagine that these lifetimes that look like white pearls, that the, that the white pearl turns dark. And now we're just going to remove those dark pearls, drop them down deep into the earth. And as we remove those dark pearls, what comes into place is in a golden pearl. And that golden pearl is exactly what you need to overcome that poverty mindset or the, the money blocks in your current lifetime. So now as you take a deep breath, release out the poverty, take another deep breath and expand your field out to be able to contain more and drop it down your grounding cord deep into the earth and release it. And that is the first step to doing it, right? So it's first recognizing that no matter what you've done, no matter what steps you've taken, you still can't seem to get over it. You keep hitting a wall when it comes to your income or you know, imagine wealth, money, or even your health, even your love relationships. These are all part of consciousness or poverty consciousness that when you end up with poor relationships, poor health and not enough money to survive well on, um, then you are in that mindset, right? So if you've hit those walls, recognize it. And no matter what you've tried, you can't get past it. 
then there may be something in a past life or in your spiritual DNA that you can release and correct along the way. And now I'm, you're telling all your cells that anything you've learned and transitioned during this brief little video, that it is new programming, the old programming, the poverty programming is now obsolete. So today and every day from now on, you are in an ab abundance or, you know, top money mindset. So I hope that was helpful for you today. And I will talk about new topics next time. I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Thank you so much for taking valuable time out of your day to listen in. If you found this message helpful, please help spread the word by giving the broadcast a thumbs up or a five star rating. Share it with your friends and be sure to subscribe to my channel with your notifications on. For further training on healing and growing your healing business using my three-step system, go to www.highpaidhealers.com and I'll see you in the next video.